Amazon. Amazon argues users don't actually own the purchase content. I'm real happy I buy all my digital content off, off of Voodoo. This is where you laugh at me, right? <laughs> off of Voodoo. Voodoo. That's, that was the Walmart-owned um, pay streaming site. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay, Which gotcha. Walmart then sold away. So gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I, I don't know if myself is up. I bought the entire X-Files digital series on there, and now I'm worried it's going to disappear on me one day. Because well, apparently you don't own this stuff, okay? <laughs> exactly. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this time I got, I'm going to side with Amazon because – I'm sorry, this ship sailed a long time ago. Uh, this was true on iTunes years and years and years ago. You don't, when you, in quotes, buy a song or an album or a movie and you download it and you're watching it off the cloud and, you know, it's on their proprietary system, you don't actually own anything. You own a license. And that license is kind of like an, uh, a semi-permanent rental. You have paid a price to use this thing until they decide to not provide it any longer. This is why I always tell you, get the physical medium so they cannot take it away from you. Yes. Get the DVD. If you want it on your cloud, then rip the DVD to the cloud, which you can legally do under fair use. Okay. And do that. Do not, do not rely on Amazon and Apple and Google or yeah, any of them. This was a big issue with uh, iTunes a while back. Remember? Then they yep. say it was vanishing from there too. And I, I like the, the 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 quotes from the article. In April, Amanda Caldell uh, filed. I guess she filed a complaint for unfair competition and false advertising. She claims the company, quote unquote, secretly reserves the right to end consumers' access to content purchased through its Prime Video service. She filed her putative class action on behalf of herself and any California residents who's purchased video content from the service from 20, 2016 to the present. Amazon filed a motion to dismiss her complaint. User agreement explains that yep. some content may later become unavailable. Yep. Okay. Yep. She can't say it was secret. It was in the terms of service that she signed. Yeah. People don't read the terms of service. When you go to a website, and you access that website or you you install a piece of software and there's all that legalese that you go, yeah, okay, and then you move on. I accept so that I can go to the next screen. Well, you just agreed to something and you don't even know what you agreed to. <laughs> uh, oh, so that what? when, when the, the lawsuit comes up, they can say, you know, did you agree to this? Apparently so. Okay, well, guess what? But you said own it for for fourteen ninety nine, and well, we said own it for this period of time until we say yeah, you don't read own the, it read the, read what you agreed to. You, you, you have know? to understand. I have purchased stuff on uh, Voodoo. Ten, I tend to wait for sales, but like the X Files on Blu Ray, I'm mm -hmm. kind of drowning in physical media. So sometimes I do get stuff digitally when it gets cheap when it's on sale. Like get a movie for five bucks. Well, that's as much as renting it. Yeah, so I'll get to own it, but now I'm thinking I don't own it. You know what I mean? Well, this is exactly the same thing that I was saying about Mulan. Spend thirty bucks, and you're thirty bucks on top of your streaming service to rent it. Really? No. When I can wait for the DVD to come out and buy it for twenty five to thirty bucks and own it forever. And even no. on Disney, you can in quotes buy it as a download that's always available to you until they decide it's no longer available. Or, you know what, we have to take out these scenes that are now objectionable or, you know, whatever. Uh, Same is true if you're using Steam or um, Epic Games or any of those and you're buying a game and downloading it, in theory, it you don't own it, own it. It can go away anytime they decide to Close up shop. Oh, uh, Brian uh, Gil Martin says, uh, we've known about this forever. This was true of the virtual console on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, Nintendo had the service where you could download old NES games 
Super Nintendo games, kind of like what the has Professor has but you spend money on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you get the official digital copies and you get to have them on your console and play them whenever you want. You could download them. Yeah. Uh, trouble is they were only tied to that specific console you owned, and then eventually the shop would shut down. Yep. So if your console dies on you, those things you bought go bye-bye. And I will say this for Microsoft. Um, the one good thing is they are making a promise that anything you buy, either digitally or physically, this generation will be able to will be transferable over to the Xbox Next system. So I do give them points for that. Uh, they could have just said no. So I I would give them I would give them uh, con- conditional points if yeah. they actually carry through. I would wait I and see. I think they will cuz they've been go- pretty good about trying to make more of the old stuff available if you bought it and now they're saying that everything that was available now on this current console will be able to play. So even the older stuff like some Xbox games they do make compatible with the new system like from the original Xbox and they spruce them up a little bit and you don't have to pay more for them, you know, you just get out your old disc and stick it in your console. Then that, then that makes the example of Song of the South which was never released on DVD nope. in the United States, nope. but if you have the VHS, you better hold on to that for dear Did life. Did it get released on VHS? Pardon me? Did it get released on VHS? I thought it was. I was waiting for that to get released. They Some argue that it would have made sense. To, remember when Disney had the Walt Disney Treasures lines where you got the tins and they yeah. had like old cartoons and they should have done yeah. it there because that's like for the collector's market, not for the mainstream. And then maybe have Leonard Malton do a but I would, I would even, half hour long apology for the movie. I or, would even point to the example of Lilo and Stitch. You know, if you were to go into the DVD right now of Lilo and Stitch, it's not the release version. And it's not the version of Lilo and Stitch that I have sitting on my shelf. Really? They've edited it. There was a scene where um, the little girl is is being uh, a brat and she's hiding from her sister in, uh, in, the, in the dryer. Um, now they have changed it because they don't want kids to do that because it's dangerous. And now it's, a uh, they, they've redrawn it so that the dryer, with the door in front is now a table with a pizza box in front of it. I'd heard about that. I wonder if my DVD, the, I, cause I have one of the older DVDs, but I wonder if that's the one where they corrected it on. Um, yeah, it's, uh, they, I, they did that with Who Framed Roger Rabbit. They said the laser discs has some stuff in it that you can get a peek at. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's it. okay. Yeah, <laughs> but they got rid of they they've gotten rid of that even on the latest blu Yeah, and 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 for crying out loud, Star Wars special edition after special edition after special edition. You still I uh, unless you you go with the fan edits, you can't get the original theatrical release. You can only get the theatrical. release theatrical release in the vhs yeah or the laser disc if you have the yeah. laser disc my point is get your uh as soon as it comes out get that physical media if you care about it yeah otherwise you are running the risk of it being lost to you forever and here's another terrifying thought they've done this with video games where they can censor content after you bought the physical version yep. you download a patch yep Blu-ray players, they do have things where you can download stuff to update them. They haven't done this with movies yet, but I could imagine maybe the day coming where where they could do this to movies, even physical movies you buy. Not with DVDs, though, because those are fixed. But Blu-rays players do update. They're already doing it with uh, the digital films sent out to the theaters. Um, They did it with Cats. They sent out a patch that changed all of them that were in the theaters, which, in that case, it was a good thing, but I mean, just think about that. It is possible. Um, I would even point out that if you're using iTunes, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can add your own MP3s to iTunes. Am I correct? Yes. Right. Okay. Well, those aren't yours either. You better have a backup copy of those. If, for example, you put you drop your um, original recording of a live album of some artists that you love and iTunes decides to take that away and put a different version of that live album out. That's mm-hmm. got, got a, got one song missing or, you know, has a different, uh, different recording of that song or yeah. something. You yeah. lost it. Yeah. So always have physical. And even if you have digital, see if you can download, make sure you have it backed up somewhere. 